Hello everyone, this is Archive at 12, and today we have a new Warhammer 40k song from Jonathan Young called Dragon Warriors, the Salamander Song. Now, uh, as per usual, I know nothing about anything when it comes to Warhammer 40k outside of like a few things that people have told me, and that includes the Salamanders. I know nothing about them, but uh, Jonathan Young has been killing it with these Warhammer songs, just like he did with the uh, Helldiver songs, which Actually, today, I wound up getting my autographed, signed CD for his Helldivers album. I don't know if I'll do the same thing with the Warhammer album, mainly because um, when I bought this, I did not recently have a house that I just purchased. Now I do, so that's kind of going to put a crimp in my spending for a little bit. But uh, even still, it's uh, exciting to see what he's doing with all of these songs. Link will be in the description below if you want to watch it without my commentary, because I will be pausing here, we'll be talking about it. And alongside that, I will also be putting a link to my Patreon, where you can watch longer form reaction videos to various TV shows and anime, such as Dr. Stone, Gundam Requiem for Vengeance, and now Star Wars Skeleton Crew. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, before we get into uh, the chorus here, I gotta say, for one, this just looks like uh, Darth Malgus from Star Wars Yield Republic in giant power armor. That's what this reminds me of right now. Um, but also, based on what little lyrics we've just gotten, I have to say, the Salamanders sound awesome, and I'm kind of excited to see, like more of them like i know that the ultramarines are kind of the face of warhammer 40k when it comes to the imperial legions for the uh for the space commandos um or space marines excuse me but i kind of just a little bit want to hear of a space marine type video game that's centered around other legions like the salamanders these guys sound like they're really cool um they definitely have the same, like, ego, based on what Jonathan's singing about, as the Ultramarines. But, I don't know. I feel like if we got other Space Marine uh, games and they weren't Ultramarines, I would love to see one about the Salamanders, just based on what little, what the bits and pieces that I know about them from my friends describing them to me, and what this song is talking about here like that's they just sound like they're a really cool faction That would actually be a really cool thing. Uh, that that scene right there kind of like makes me think if we get a different Space Marine faction for another Space Marine game, why not do the Salamanders versus the Necron? Like that's what that uh, this this little scene here just made me think of that. Like why not do Salamanders as the primary Space Marine faction versus the Necron? I think that would be awesome. Ha <laughs> ha 
That is all. That is a wicked hammer that that guy has. I'm rewinding it just a little bit. This thing, a dragon's head, freaking double-handed warhammer. Like that is that is awesome. And the fact that, like, uh, looking at this, like, he's got a dragon skull on his armor. It looks like he's got dragon scales on, on like, his backplate. Like, uh, he's wearing, uh, like, a, a tassel or something that's made out of uh, what looks like dragon scales. Looks like he's got, like, an eye over here. Not sure what that's about. But, like, looking at this, I'm, I'm thinking this is the Primarch. If this is the Primarch of the Salamanders, looking at him, I'm like, this guy is someone that I would want to serve. He looks amazing. Um, this is very inspiring of everything, basically, that you would imagine a space marine to be. This is this is the kind of person that I could see people wanting to follow. Now, of course, I don't know anything of the lore. Maybe the salamanders suck. I don't know. But looking at this, I'm like, I don't know if they suck. But this guy looks like a leader. This guy looks like he's like Space Marine Shao Kahn with that hammer there. Like I, I with the, the the ashen grayish black skin, the dragon eyes glowing right there. Like all of this, this, this is this is a leader. OK, this is someone that I could easily follow. And it looks like the the the, the gray skin doesn't seem to be limited to him. because There's another guy over here who also has a really cool hammer. This thing looks like a tenderizer, a giant warhammer tenderizer with ashen gray skin. So, like, obviously, this is just something for the salamanders. But, yeah, uh, you guys have been amazing with filling me in with the lore for Warhammer 40K for the things that, like, I'm just kind of guessing on. So if you guys could tell me a little bit more about the Primarch, of the salamanders or the salamanders themselves by all means put it in the comments below i love reading those comments it it helps tremendously for someone who has never really been much of a warhammer fan and is being introduced to the lore through this and what little i've played of both space marine games and researching up on rogue trader because i am kind of like starting to want to get into rogue trader a little bit maybe i'll play a stream on that if, if i buy the game i don't know but um, if you guys can fill me in, that would be amazing. Also, I'm not just saying that I want to be a salamander because my little avatar is uh, a dragon. That's that's not uh, my my PNG tuber model is not is a dragon. And I'm not just saying that because these guys are obviously dragon themed. But that's definitely that's definitely an ironic twi or not an ironic. Um, uh, it, it It's something that sh that. I'm not surprised that I guess is what I'm trying to say is like these guys are dragon followers, dragon worshipers. My PNG tuber is a dragon. It just makes sense. After watching that, I don't know if that was Necron or Tau, actually. I think that might have been Tau. But that's a, still a faction I don't think we've seen in the Space Marine game. So if we do get a spin-off Space Marine game featuring the Salamanders, I totally would take them with the Tau.
of the actual Space Marine songs that he's made, I'm not going to include a Blood for the Blood God or Lord of Plagues, since those are chaos gods. But of the actual Space Marine songs, I think Sal the, the this one, Dragon Warriors, is my favorite, followed by... um, I'm kind of torn between Blood Angels and Ultramarines. I'm kind of torn between the two of them because they're both really good. But I don't know which one would come in second place. But Dragon Warriors is definitely first place. Just that was that was so good. That was phenomenal. Um, I can't wait to see what he does next for for uh, Warhammer songs. Like he's he's Jonathan's been on a roll. And also, I know that I haven't reacted to his Baldur's Gate three will song yet. Um, Blade of Frontiers. I will. I promise that's coming because uh, I've had a couple of people ask me about that. It's like, I have not forgotten about it. I've just haven't had a lot of time. Holidays are very, very stressful. And there's just been a lot going on in my life, including fixing my house and whatnot. So I haven't been able to actually uh, focus on reacting as much as I wanted to, because uh, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things that I want to start producing for this channel and for Patreon. So Blade of Frontiers is coming. I know it's like almost two months old at this point, but like people have been asking about it. I will be reacting to it eventually. But anyway, that's going to be it for me. Thank you for joining me. I am Mark Alpha 12, and I will see you in the next video.